So next up on the chopping block is going to be uh, Paragus and Broly. Um, so they come out during the Battle Road meta. They do. Uh, they come out for that little Broly movie celebration. They do. Okay. And whose banner they come out on? They come out on physical Dragon Ball Super Broly's banner? I think. Who's on Blue Gogeta's banner? Um... Is it God Goku and God Vegeta? I don't remember. It is. I think. I think it is. Um, was it? Okay, on Gogeta's banner, God Goku and God Vegeta, and then on Broly's banner, it was Paragus and Broly and the AGL Raffle Broly. I think I could be wrong, guys. Listen, I'm just going off on a whim. Um, I did obviously no prior research to this video, so yeah, just correct me if I'm wrong down below. Okay, with that being said, Battle Road Meta Unit, what are we getting out of this guy? Let's just take a quick look at what he's doing. I do not remember what he does for his pre-EZA, so we're going to review it together. So, um, of course, he does get his, well, they get their Awakening uh, basically the same day, so there's no point in talking about their uh, pre-Awakening. Okay, so Leader Skill is an extreme int 3 key in the 100% stats. Uh, and their super attack, that being Command of Revenge, they just lower attack, that is it. And they give uh, Pure Saiyans or Joint Forces 2 key and 40% attack and defense. And they get 130% attack when there's a Pure Saiyans category enemy. So it just makes a whole lot of sense because Goku and Vegeta, because they're going up against him in this very moment of the movie. And if you have not seen this movie, go watch it. So with that being said, um, what was their use for the Battle Royale meta back then? Uh, just to lower attack and support. Um, I mean, that's it. Yeah, only issue is, is that four category uh, battle road uh, was pure Saiyans even out at the time for that 11 through 20 stages. I don't even think so for 11 through 20. Um, pure Saiyans doesn't come out till when? Uh, I don't think I'm very certain that pure Saiyans does not have a stage in 11 through 20. I think pure Saiyans is like either 21 through 30 or is it 31 through 40? I don't remember. I, everything I'm thinking about, I'm just going off on a whim. So, um, yeah. Uh, for versus uh what's that battle road stage called is it called is it versus uh, oh my god i'm having a brain fart versus super attack <laughs> versus super attack um are you using them in there uh you could but i can't think of any extreme in pure saiyans or uh, joint force off the top of my head. Maybe the 50% support pre-EZA Vegeta? He's a... Was he even out at the time? We're not even going to figure that out. Um, you would only ever use him for a support. This card was just support only. Pretty much for December of 2018. And lowering attack. At least a lowering attack. Cool. Only issue is that A, they're not getting a defensive buff on super. They're not stunning, which could be a bit more helpful. Slash ceiling. It's like bare minimum. And they got a stun. I'm sorry. They're going to be a support type unit. They got a stun. That's it. Um, they, they did bring something to the table for the battle Bro meta, but are you running them in there? Possibly not. You're not. The only reason you're running them is for support for the new Dragon Ball Super Broly, who I'm pretty sure comes out, of course, on this day, and does have this guy have a banner unit, or just them as a banner unit, excuse me, because it's two people in the damn card. Uh, and then Link set, same warrior race, the same lineage, hardened grudge, holy hell, cold judgment, brutal beat down, prepare for battle, and fierce battle, and hardened grudge, that is a bio Broly Link, isn't it? has to be there's no way it's not wow <laughs> ain't no fucking way <laughs> and this link is just butt cheeks two key and 10 percent attack wow okay um you could just do like two key and 25 percent attack and defense on this link because look who has this link i mean come on keep it real like why couldn't we just throw two key and 25 percent attack and defense like this is my thing if you're gonna have a link that has like no cards on it why not just make it extremely strong? Like, this is just common knowledge around the community for Dokkan. Like, are, are, do we do we agree? Come on now. Just keep it real. Meanwhile, you have big bad bosses just being dominant as a ridiculously strong link in Dokkan. One of the best links in Dokkan. So, um, so are you running into this card for Battle Road? No, you just run them for support. Lowering attack could be cool, but the only thing is, is that extreme and joint forces of pure Saiyans. I don't even, I can't even think of one off the top of my head besides that uh, 50% support of uh, Vegeta from Namisaga. So anyways, we get to the post EZA. Why is this card only on two categories? Why? Why are they not on movie bosses? Why are they not on super bosses? Why? 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 I just, I don't understand. Is it because Paragus is there? 
Paragus is Paragus not the initiator? Is Paragus not a he can't be a movie boss? No. Okay. So Lita skill is buffed up from three key and 100% of the stats to extreme int to three key and 130% across the board for extreme int. And their super attack still being Commander Revenge. They stack defense and a still lower attack. Um, stack and defense being new for their post EGA. They get 150% attack and defense at the start of turn, as well as a 50% chance of launching an additional super attack. Do keep in mind, guys, that they, the only attack and defense buff that they start out with inside their pre EGA is from their support. Just to throw it out there. Um, and they also get 26% damage reduction within the same turn each super attack performed. And they get pure Saiyans or join forces. Three key and 50% attack and defense, so they get monstrous support now. Um, before it was two key and 40% attack and defense, which is obviously monstrous support back then for 2018, but it just got even better with them giving three key and 50% attack and defense now. So they also get three key and 180% attack, as well as a 50% chance of launching an additional super attack when there's a pure sands or superheroes category enemy. Okay, um, here's the issue with this card. A where are you running this card where are you running this card um b uh granted they do stack defense uh you have to build this card full additional but the only issue is, is that they start out with a low amount of stats so the conflict is are you are you building them full dodge or are you building full additional because you want to build them full additional so that they can stack their defense as well as be able to get additional super attacks off within the turn so they can get their damage reduction within the turn so they don't get their ass completely blasted off the screen but on the offhand you want to build them full dodge because you want this card to be able to not take damage just the simple and clear fact because this card does not start out with enough attack and defense at the start of turn because all this card has is 150 percent attack and defense at the start of turn wait guys i'm stupid i just realized something they still only start out with their support attack and defense above because i just realized something they don't get this until they perform a super why does this card not start out with attack and defense above why why <laughs> this card's a 2024 ECA for the ninth year anniversary brother oh binge yeah, what the fuck is this so they don't the only attack and defensive buff they start out with is their support but that's not even you can't even consider it a real start of turn attack and defensive buff because it's from their support why don't they just start out with 200 percent attack and defense why not why so anything i just said in the video guys about them starting out with that 150 percent attack and defense at the start of turn is not true it's from them performing a super wait no i'm wrong oh my god i'm having a brain fart yeah wait no it's together oh my god <laughs> um so yeah um issues with this card uh low amount of attack and defense to star turn um this card has no categories you can run them on they're on two fucking categories ridiculous they should be on super bosses and movie bosses uh link set is hot ass sheiks um <laughs> The, the way you want to build them is just weird because you want to build them full additional so that they can stack their defense while being able to get multiple supers within the same turn for them to get that damage reduction within the same turn. But the problem is, is that around the beginning part of the fight, when they do want to get going and they just don't do additional supers for you, you're cooked. You're cooked. This card does not do a bare minimum of two or three supers. This card is dead. So maybe you'd want to build on full dodge for that case. This card just fucking sucks, bro. Oh, wow. And then when I first read this card's information when they had first came out, I thought they were all right. But then I realized they're only two categories. And the only 200% of the disco that they're on, get this, is uh, the Big Getty Boys 200% of the disco. Um, and their best thing of is SSR. So you know what that means, guys. Okay. Six key, 45% attack, and 35% defense. That's it. Conflict of interest. Um, Full dodge or full additional. But more than likely, uh, I don't know. It's Or you just go with a mixed build. But the only issue is with a mixed build is that you have to bank on that like what? Let's say you build it like uh, like 20 additional or maybe like 20 dodge or you just split it in half. I don't know. Put my hands up. This card fucking sucks. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next video. I absolutely love you all. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And that is all. Peace.